Okay, here we go. So it's my great pleasure and joy and delight and giggly fun and honor uh, to meet in, uh, on Zoom here for the first time, Zahara Celestial. Hi, Zahara. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing really well. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. And you? And you? I, I'm good. I love the haircut. I don't know if it inspired mine. I just had mine. <laughs> I know you. Off. You look so different. <laughs> well, you do too, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're, we're oh. ready. For, we're ready for battle. I think. We're ready. Yeah. yeah. We're, <laughs> we're shedding. We're shedding. Yes. yes. <laughs> we're getting down to it. So. Um, it's just a thrill to get to chat with you. I've just been looking at, you know, all your, your website is, is stunningly beautiful and uh, all your offerings are, uh, my goodness, uh, so thorough and so detailed. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing you are a lifelong mystic who was talking to the angels and the fairies uh, from the moment you drew a breath. Is that right? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, and and uh, I was in bewilderment at at I knew uh, those around me were not, but this is a, I think a familiar story from for many of us. That, sure. Um, and I knew that inherently, so my my soul, my consciousness, awareness was very awake to that. I knew right. that from right. the word go. Right. Um, to such an extent, I would say to my parents, you're not my parents. <laughs> right. I bet that got their attention. Yeah, they did. Well, I, I got I got their attention in many ways. <laughs> I'm I, sure you did. Uh, <laughs> I was like in primary school, I just I didn't see the point of sitting. Why do I have to sit at the table? Right. Why do I have to do this work? I don't want to do this work. I wasn't, you know, aggressive or reactive. No. It's just. I don't see the point. <laughs> you had you had a bigger picture, dear. You had things to do, and they were wasting your time in those schools, yeah. of course. <laughs> so in the seventies, um, in a village primary school, um, I actually would. Uh, I remember the teacher just laughing and just would let let me get on with it, and then uh, right. I then kind of go, oh, well, I might as well sit down. Then everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you proved your point, that was yeah. The, that was, that was the <laughs> Well, no one was joining me, you see, so it got a bit. <laughs> there's, there's that, there's that. But now people are coming to you because you have so much to share, my friend. And uh, we're just chatting. You've got uh, some big offerings that you're bringing uh, to all of us in the next few months. Do you want to say a little bit about that? And then we can kind of take it from there with what you have coming up. Yeah, yeah, can do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, the, the epic. It's, it's a, a gathering of my journey. Uh, up to now and and um like uh, many leaps of faith that many of us have done i've done um i was being pushed in this direction not from a comfortable place my ego was used to this is what i do oh now i don't know what i'm meant to be doing um, and often it, we learn things that we, we don't know we're going to learn because that's what we're learning. You know, if we, we sure. knew it already, we wouldn't be learning. Sure. But the ego thinks I want to learn this. It's like that's actually contradictory. Um, so I have no idea what you're talking about, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, all of us. Great. Yeah. <laughs> So I was feeling um, we have a right. I've been feeling this for a while that those of us call ourselves light showers, light workers, yes. healers, light bulb, whatever. whatever's, whatever's. Yes. Um, in the most respectful way, I'm saying that. Yes, of course. Um, uh, we've, we've, we're coming to a place like the whole of humanity is uh, 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 asking for a leap of faith. Yeah. Um, and um, I was uh, struggling, even though I, I really know my my work is of, of worth and value and people really sure. resonate with that. Yes. I was, I was struggling with with how to make ends meet, basically. Sure, yeah. um, I'm and right I think, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, what's not resonating? I don't understand because I've come to a point where I feel I'm shining. I feel... I have gifts. I'm sharing my gifts. I'm appreciated for those gifts. So yes. 
it's not about that. It's not about being in lack. So yes, I understand we're evolving and we'll be evolving out of the monetary system and capitalism. But, and yes, maybe I'm showing the way, so I'm not resonating with it, but it's like, oh. So there's a lot going on in the mind. And then um, right. I, I then uh, went to some coaches so yes. it's business coaching and I thought maybe I need to get my head around it. I was reading that on your site yes I was reading your share about that yeah well that's that that was that was <laughs> again it's like being in the resonance of that yes oh my god <laughs> yes oh my chalk, god chalk, chalk and cheese as they say yes. It. Yes. right and that but they were they, they help spiritual entrepreneurs that word entrepreneur Right. And uh, which is fine, is the word. And and uh, I, um, they were talking about the hero heroine's journey, which I'm very familiar with because I read Jung when I was a teenager, and, and I loved Jung. Jung. Right, I know, I know it from Joseph Campbell. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, sort of, um, yeah. And I know from Joseph Campbell. I, did, I read a lot. I've read a lot. Sure. Um, and um, and now that wasn't resonating. <laughs> I'm like. Uh, so the whole premise of their coaching is this, you you know, and you present your journey to others and you come to a conclusion. I'm like, but that's not resonating. And I just, in the end, I, I, I just dropped it all because right. I just, I literally left like a week or more of the coaching. I'm like, right. I'm not looking up anything. I'm right. not doing anything. Right. Right. I went into my heart. It's like the top, right. the layers we have to, I have to, we have to yes, yes, revisit. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Honey. Listen to the heart. Listen yeah. to the heart. Um, yes, you've signed up to this thing. Yes, it costs blah, blah. Yes, it has a, a momentum. Yes, I get that. But you're going to do what you need to do and you're going to go, and that's it. Yeah. And then it all fell into place. But I needed to do that. I needed to be in that resonance, a bit like you were saying, you know, yeah. how are they going to meet in right. order to feel it, be it. And that's the bigger arc of why we're here. We're in it, in our galactic, expanded, multidimensional cells that come here. Right. Then forget or sort of forget or semi-forget or however it is. Yes, yes. In order to be human yeah, yeah. and to then... We have to be human to help yeah. evolve the human. <laughs> sure, honey. Sure, sure. Um, yeah. that, so Robin, Robin Williams says, I'll visit reality, but only as a tourist. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So I'm just relating to, you know, uh, being alienated, uh, you know, from society sometimes and still needing and knowing that, you know, we need to serve this society and and feel completely you know the equal to everyone uh and uh you know that uh it takes a lot of humility you know bless you and it takes a lot of faith and courage you know doesn't it yes repeatedly so yes dear <laughs> <laughs> only every day yes yeah, it's quite yes. so um i then it all clicked into place this is my this is a, the story where Right. I read somehow. I don't know what I looked at because I don't read. I kind of got so much coming through, and uh, it does. I do, but I picked up an old book on alchemy. Uh, I haven't read for like something like thirty years, and then then I looked at it with fresh eyes. Yeah, and I don't. I don't know where the links of the vision because I had a lot, I had some visions. I literally had visions and dreams, and because I gave myself space, and I yeah. and I was just led. It was, and then I literally wrote the whole thing down in. Couple of hours really. I went boom, 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 yes. boom. Yeah. And in the alchemy, there are two dark nights of okay. the ego, not the soul. It's not right. the soul that's having a dark Yes, night. well said. So <laughs> yeah, really. The soul is fine, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? There's that. Yes. Well, the ego projects itself onto everything and everyone. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> yes, that's yes. Funny, yeah. Okay. So we have uh, two in alchemy, the mystic tradition of, of transformation, transmutation and creation and, and, and everything. Um, uh, there's two dark nights. And then it's like, well, we're not in we're not going. We're, we're evolving from the linear into the quantum. Therefore, the linear stories, this, which is very which the hero heroine, Joseph Campbell, right. et cetera, 
go right. with beginning, middle and end. Yeah. But we're moving out of that. So how do we transition? How do we bridge that? You know, we're, we've got one foot here and one foot there. Yeah. And we're also, for me, moving out of um, I don't want and I never have to be a leader, mystic, teacher, whatever all those uh, hats on and say, I have this vision. This is my vision. Um, follow me. Well, I, <laughs> I think you're I think you're OK on the uh, uh, you know, honey, you are all of those things. God love you. Uh, bless you. But you you do it with an open heart. And that's that's why we're thrilled to have you in our little movie here. Bless your heart, you know, because oh. you're, you're just a big, uh, you know, bundle of love wanting to hug <laughs> the world, uh, obviously. And why don't people get the picture? You know, yes. <laughs> all love, right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I get it. Oh. I get it. Yeah, I, you know, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's that's it. That's it. Really, it's 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 um, uh, assisting. I want to assist others yes. who feel called to, um, like that bag I got at the supermarket. <laughs> you know, but I was thinking, oh, I don't know where I want to go at the supermarket. So I go to the supermarket, and there's this stand that suddenly grabs my attention, and it's promoting tea, and it says, and there's bags hanging from it saying, "Rise and shine." That's right. that old saying that we've had, like, right, have your cup of tea and rise and shine. Lovely. And I'm like, oh, my God, i got to get that back. Good. Yes. And because, because, um, and I was at the checkout and I'm like, look at this bag. And look at the, at the lady, and, it's, and we've all got to rise. And I was going, we're all going to rise and we're all shining. We're going to shine. I said, I right. don't know whether, you know, I'm not promoting wonderful tea, maybe, but we're, and she's just kind of looking at me. <laughs> right. It's like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. You're, you're sprinkling your fairy dust wherever you go and, uh, exactly. you know, leaving a sea of confusion and joy in your way. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And, and yeah, and that's sort of the uh, when I um I go all over the place because we I'm not very linear with this, but um in my and uh, I think in a recent post I reflected on that that um uh, again <laughs> part of my journey was uh, when I was seeing people want to for one to one physically yeah. healing. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting these people coming in with like I got scary scary stuff. Like person yeah. says I've got a face on my back. Do you want to see it? No, no, no. <laughs> shit oh um, thanks <laughs> uh burns on my body and i'm like yeah you're all right yeah i'll take your word for it Here's the photograph. <laughs> like no 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 and and it got like really intense i um i um, gee i'm living a very dull <laughs> life over here Mara, i have to tell you that's you're, cool. You're that's... <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, and, and I, um, I, uh, with with people like that, <laughs> um, right. um, I would uh, joke and laugh, and which I like to do. What yes. we're doing here and yes. um, light heartedness, and I, it's a distraction. Sure. And and it's an energy rising. It's not a lot of woo woo because yeah. everything is actually very very simple sure and and in the higher dimension resonances and uh, i would like distract them with all this laughter and get them standing up and i'd be doing this and i go it's gone oh, wow <laughs> and, okay. and also also do you believe like one lady it was it, it we did it in one session she was talking uh, she had been carrying these various things and whole and all sorts of horror right. things happening entities yeah, yeah. Yeah. three yeah. years four years right she's sitting there we've got an hour so she starts telling me so i said to her you've got three to four years worth of what you've been yeah, going they, on yeah um so you could t we have one hour you could fill the hour up with telling me about what's happened and i am i i'm so sorry to hear it sincerely yeah, i, I yeah, you know yeah, I, I really yeah. feel for you sure but you haven't come here to relay that right. to me right i am not dismissing the 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 the, the depth of it <laughs> i really wanted to, i, you, I no, really you, hear you sure, i feel honey. you yeah. you want to do the energy work and get on with yeah, it yeah 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 uh, and she was like whoa and then, and then I said, okay, can you believe it, feel it, 
see it, sense it in every sense of your being, that when you walk out this door in one hour's time, you won't have any of this. Right. Now that was the healing. Absolutely brilliant. Not me not doing anything. It's like she brought herself to me. Yeah. I didn't do anything like woo, woo, woo. It was, can you take that leap and choose because we yeah. come when we come to mastery and that was her journey of mastery yeah. to know yeah. Yeah. that she could be sovereign and she right. has choice it's a sure. tricky one you know when well you help you have the energetic space there for her of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly and, and yeah. beautiful and 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 I uh, and so for me to feel I'm it's not for me to fix her but yes to, to hold the uh, space and she I could see it it's wonderful to see her suddenly like the veils lift <laughs> We yeah, yeah, I can feel the energy yeah. of uh, joy in my system when Beautiful. I was recording. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so the rest was easy. And right. she walked out like it's amazing after years worth of all this, going yes. to different people, yes. walked out clear. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, and I'm sitting there going, fuck. <laughs> yes. Good, good, good way to express. <laughs> no, you're absolutely fine. I don't fright ahead, my friend. No fucking problem at all. No problem. <laughs> yes. well, when, when something happens like that, it is, uh, you know, the, 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 it's a the, jaw um, dropper. It's a shocker. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is this is this is. Um, I don't know where where I've gone. No, where you're fine. <laughs> fine, Zahara. Let me. There was a beautiful uh, a beautiful uh, testimonial here, and I just want to throw this into the mix, okay? Because people should know really what you're about. This is from Becca from your page, honey. Okay. Give you a little, give you a little love here. She says, Zahara is absolutely the ultimate interstellar galactic shaman. Her multidisciplinary gifts are quite unlike anything I have ever experienced. Incredibly powerful, weaving across all time, space, dimensions, and parallel realities and lifetimes, pulling together threads from multiple timelines, releasing the lessons already learned, and facilitating self-mastery. Now I've read a lot of sentences. That's right up there, my friend. That's some serious, some serious praise and some some wonderful love for you and your your gift. So how about that? It's very beautiful, and and she's very beautiful, and she ha she is very gifted. And I think because she, um, you know when we can see and feel the love that we are resonating and the gifts that we're resonating, and she's really blossomed and seeing how she's flowering, you know. Uh, uh she wonderful. can pray she can be with that you know for her to to say that to give love is is just it's her resonance she's she's resonating in that so sure. um sure. but i do receive her yeah. with, with much with much uh gratitude yeah. Uh, yeah 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 i mean i you know you and teresa are just uh endlessly fascinating to me i have to tell you at this point i'm like <laughs> these two are really really on the cutting edge of everything and you know it's uh it's just a joy to try to keep up with the, either one of you and uh see what you're seeing can you talk a little bit you know you're you're giving a great description of this uh of this work that you have coming up what do you call it um it's it's interstellar um uh, soul alchemy there you go um i i a while back i had the the the, the phrase instant interstellar uh, shaman and shamanism so it's not it's it's um it's it's not just uh soul al alchemy it's 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 soul alchemy boom <laughs> gone in, interstellar because that's that's how we are so yeah. um it's it's really expanding it um and so um it's revisiting the um the, the, in a way there's going to be some revisiting but i think that that's where we are we're at the place of reflection yeah. um while yeah. we look we reflect on our journey so far yeah. many of us are are uh, in the kind of the void space um the pregnant void i like to call it where you know the seed is about to burst through right right Beautiful. so using that um framework the alchemical framework going to move through the middle pillar um of the chakras which are anchored in which we all very aware of so so it's there's a lot of that what i'm shaping and put together that people are familiar with with some other things that uh, may not be um so go through the, the the seven main ones and then end up in the higher heart which is the eight 
the number eight, the eighth infinity. Okay. And and a lot of people have come to me where they they maybe have one uh, clear sense um, activated, right. right? Or two, or maybe three. They don't have their whole resonance, you know, moving. And we yes. have uh, intuitive in intuition it's not just in the third eye or some people even you know where that can be the solar places it's an ev there's a different into uh, sense intuition through all the different chakras okay. so you move through those stages which are alchemical sages there are alchemical sages that move through the chakras okay. so i've brought these all this together i've woven it in a way i'm not i but it's all made sense to me i'm like oh my goodness it's it's kundalini Awakening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is another way, but it, it has um, the mystic tradition of alchemy within it. Right. Um, so that we can then move through. See, we've mo we've moved through the the initial personal individual dark night. Okay. To now moving into the collective, which is where we are. The collective collective are in the dark night, or you could say the pregnant void, before the new is coming through. So this is um to assist mm -hmm. those who feel called to take that leap of faith and i when i came to where you are in ireland because of the shining yeah. ones and venus um the shining ones came to me i had one come right through my heart chakra when i was you know, in this wood in, in wales which was very resonant of the emerald isle because the green was just like oh my god it was so vibrant in this big well, the tree, the energy started shifting and Gemma, my little four-legged Jack Russell, was like barking, barking, barking. And then this, this being, very male, came right through my heart chakra and wow. said, um, we're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like, ah! And uh, you're going to Ireland. So that was the start of the whole um, Venus, okay. Venus Gaia pilgrimage. Okay. And then on the last day of the pilgrimage in Sligo in Ireland, yeah. Um, well, I, I went to the loo. Yeah. Uh, some people might not have heard me say this. So I'll say. I've heard the story, but it's a good one. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. I think, where are the shining ones? You've come all this way. It's the last time, you know, last day. Yeah. And we're yeah. in this restaurant that's amazing that sits on this bay, but, but it's overlooking the, 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 the sea. And, and, and then there's hills, uh, mountains all around. Yes. And then boom, that suddenly I'm catapulted into a, another consciousness, higher state of awareness. Right. Um, and uh, I am seeing, feeling, being in that resonance dimension with the shining ones pouring out, like hundreds pouring out and they're massive. They're like friggin' massive wow. out of the hills. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Maybe the loo was the best place to be. For their purposes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Anyway, my stomach was fine, and and I came out and sat in there, and everyone's like chatting, and I'm like, I'm having this sort of visionary thing <laughs> with, with everyone eating and drinking, and right, right, and and they said, uh, you need to gather in groups, right, to assist one another. Okay to hold a high enough vibration right. in a sustained way okay. to be with us. And I'm like, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Because if this is, this is what it's going to be like, yeah. I can hardly function. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> honey, that's, it's, an, it's an incredible story. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to ask you, do you know Patricia Cota Robles or Addie Lamborn? Have you heard those folks? Well. So that's who I've been following until uh, my divine meeting with you today. And they've been wonderful teachers about some of these very similar things. And um, of course, Sanaya Roman, who was channeling Oren for years, uh, also another great teacher. And they talk about, Oren talks about the, the great ones and how there are beings of light out there that are so massive, like you're saying, mm. that they have to have a group of people yeah. in order to download their energy because individuals can't possibly yeah. absorb these energies. So yeah. ticking all the boxes of other teachers that could relate to what you're describing there. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. I mean, when I went, I got, the, I asked to go to uh, have a, a vision quest 
in 2012 and I was led to Kadir Idris. I hadn't heard of it. And and um, and that's when I had my big, big awakening. It's in Wales. Okay. Um, it, and it's like a volcano. It's got a lake. When you climb up it, you've got this amazing lake. Um, right. so it's like a big right. eye, you know. For, and uh, that that that's when I had this big big awakening when um, the, I I didn't I'd wear of shamanic and I'd been you know been a, a, awake yes. at one level and then yes. this was a cat this was a bit this was like the she shining ones in 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 sort of I don't know vastness um, and uh, another universe came into this universe. And it was a golden resonance and the beings were even, they were bigger in a way. They were not so fearsome as the shining ones. They were gold and I saw them and they were as tall as the planet in a way. They went way up, but it was another universe in, and I'm like, I'm going, that's not heaven because I had a sort of a near death experience when I was a child. So I'm sitting there going, uh, or lying at that point point <laughs> down right, right. Uh, this is heaven so what is it what's going on how can there be two universes in one place these beings are so vast and they're part of the structures they're around so they're, they're kind of like golden quartz structures but that are part of their body and not part of the body oh god what the is going on sure, <laughs> and, sure. and my brain went right the ego mind there can't be two things in one place is what my linear ego mind was doing well evidently (laughs) (laughs) surprise yeah Yeah. so uh where where, where i went with that but yeah so that that uh that was 2012 and then i didn't know anybody who'd had any experience like that i didn't know anything about ascension and awakening or i wasn't in touch with anybody about that or golden beings or um yeah so um we we have these or i have these big i have had these big experiences awakenings and um uh, uh, but that yeah can't sustain that where energetically sure sure yeah no yeah no yeah um i mean it's 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 cool that you're talking about 2012 and and all of this because uh, we're coming up to the 10th anniversary of 2012 this winter you know, mm. which is wow. big energetically. I believe and there's a solar eclipse on the 25th of October and then a, another eclipse, uh, solar or lunar uh, on the 8th of, of November. So, yeah, I mean, it's, wow. it, and uh, Patricia, just uh, really briefly, uh, Patricia is extraordinary. I definitely recommend you check her out. She has done a weekly uh, video message every week for the last five years. And wow. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I saw her in Los Angeles and uh, I've, I've followed her for years. Um, she's an amazing servant of spirit, channel guide, however you want to say it. But her, her thing is every, um, uh, every autumn or summer, they do a, an a annual event, which are, the first one was 36 years ago on Diamond Head uh, on Oahu in, in Hawaii. And uh, they've been doing it annually ever since. And this will be, this one is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And um, she's just um, having us uh, over these 10 days till the 15th begins, breathing very consciously because the energies are so very, very high. And uh, she talks from spirit that um, what she calls, what they call the holy innocents, uh, which are the children, uh, you know, who were born after the harmonic convergence in August of 87. Uh, they're they're working on coming online uh, with their gifts and their abilities and their leadership and their solutions for the world. So uh, just to give you the 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 thinnest sketch of all that, uh, you know, there every sign and every teacher I, I follow and, and listen to, you know, is saying the same thing, of course, that and it's what we're all feeling that the energies are just going up, 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 up. And, you know, all of us every day are lying around a lot. And, <laughs> breathing deeply and sleeping weirdly and eating as consciously as we can and getting our exercise and, you know, bracing for impact kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, that's what was, um, so I'm, I'm with these coaching people who are like coaching at the level where the I minute mean, where they're at the level where they are, you know, and, and assisting people. 
yeah. and, 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 and it feels more in, the, in a linear way for me. Sure. Um, hence the hero journey. And I'm saying, it, well, everything's actually a spiral more than a linear. And, and yes, because of the acceleration of energies, we will be, many individuals will be feeling the stages simultaneously because it's a spiral. It's not one thing, one thing, one thing. So yes, these structures are useful to help us to navigate and make sense and map and, and like a map, but like any map, it's not the same as being there and experiencing it. Sure. So I think that that's what I want to be like really clear is and sure. I did one post a while back and uh, a little while back, not that long ago, and saying, okay, there's been these and there's been these um uh, 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 sort of uh, uh, names, titles that have assisted us to acknowledge how we're resonating, like way right. shower, gatekeeper, healer, light worker, star seed. I mean, there's a whole long list. Yeah. And the list keeps growing, of course. But for me, there's a point where I've arrived at, and I feel others are, where we we transcend those labels we sure. move beyond those labels <clears throat> but um i've seen that for a while that while people are waking up they we need those structures we need those maps until we don't need them yeah, um, yeah. um so yeah, that's yeah. that's where i'm at it's like okay i'm presenting um a, a way to, a, a, to it's a reflection it's an honoring of where we've been and there's sure. again, there's a lot of grief coming up. Uh, I did a post on that recently as well, because and I've been aware of it coming up, obviously, over this um, this this place where we're all as humanity. And, and, and so there's a lot of grieving about what has happened or what could yeah. have could have been or letting go of the old. Um, that's sure. that's um, sure. set, the, the the separation that we've lived in but then we're separating from that as well and, oh, and yeah. letting go yes know? i mean the death of queen elizabeth whatever mm -hmm. anyone feels about her has had to have been a, a, a you know a powerful uh collective experience for everyone there mm -hmm. I, you know, Very, yeah. yeah you know and but there you're right i'm uh, sorry uh, there's uh you know there uh, what can i say it's you know, we're, we're learning to take our power back, I believe, and that's a big challenge for everyone, you know, uh, every day. And yet, you know, when we have access to uh, our spiritual, emotional, mystical resources, you know, we start to see the, a bigger picture and we're not just trapped in time and yeah. linear thinking any longer. And as you're saying, you know, it's everyone is um, processing you know, uh, as much as they can to to really open our hearts and to feel safe, to be powerful, to be truthful, to be to be free again. Oh, you so good. the way you just you just said that, and it's made me feel with uh, lots of joy and happiness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're a delight, my friend. I I could chat with you all day long. You're you're a, a thrill, and uh, you know. Again, you're whatever we call ourselves, Zahara, you know, it matters not as long as, you know, we put it out there and we know that we have something to offer and the people who need, you know, whatever healing or awakening or growth, you know, we can hold the space for, mm -hmm. you know, that they find that they find uh, ourselves or others who are able to say, you're not crazy. You, you, yeah, this is yeah. not the end of the world. And uh, everything is going to be okay, you know. <laughs> Have a cookie. Well, you know? you do, do, what was that when you tap when you rub and you tap and you do? Yes, <laughs> that's it. Have, have a cookie, you know. Yeah. Have a biscuit. Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Um, I, I want to ask you real quickly. You in your in your material, you talk about eight clairs, and from Doreen Virtue's book, I, I know there are four clairs. That's where I learned about those. Claire, vo voyant, audient sentient um okay i'm gonna have to get <laughs> okay i just it doesn't you don't have, it doesn't have to be a test i just at some point i'm interested to learn no, no, i can i can bring it i can okay. bring it um all right so you you're got everything's on your computer it's great yeah 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 uh because i'm holding so much so um okay yes you so are the root... <laughs> yes you are <laughs> <laughs> so the root chakra, uh, the, the yes, um, that one is um, 
is it? That's more the oh, it's it's awareness. It's the physical awareness, isn't it? The root. So there's a knowing. There's a knowing that comes okay. through. Okay. Um, uh, through. Um, it's, it's inherent. Okay. Um, and then the um, then the sacral womb. I mean, many people do work um, and, and, and different traditions um, aware of that. That that's well, that's the womb center, <laughs> the, the creation and uh, water and um, yeah. yeah, life. So so again, we can feel through there. It's um, it's more of a, a, a feeling sense. Um, okay. So the, um, this is this then, to like the light body. Uh, um, expansions of our physical, yeah, physical, you know, body, mind, spirit, mental, emotional, physical. These yeah, are like yeah. the fifth dimensional, like yes. body equivalents. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then not because then the solar plexus. People know we, we it's and it's for me it's a, it's, it's solar. <laughs> so it's for me it's more masculine. And we have that gut instinct. We it's often our compass. We know where we're going and. It, helps to define who we are um there's a there's often with there there can be uh, a thinking and reflection um so uh, it's, it's how we sort of um direct our intuition so from the sacral womb which is is more uh, watery and feminine um and of course then the the different chakras have that have their pairing as well <laughs> okay. i mean you can really go into it um, then the heart, obviously, where people often will feel, I uh, get uh, um, the heart, heart feel in, in their heart what they they, uh, they they get guided because everything, the seat of the soul is there. So that's how we, you know, can tune into many aspects through our heart. Uh, then you've got the higher heart, which is the eighth one, which is kind of, um, and that is, that's just when it all goes, starts really getting really cosmic. <laughs> so when my higher heart opened which is when I was doing group work and it was spontaneous and this unicorn hence that's why I've got <laughs> okay. a unicorn there right uh, came yeah. like boom it was sort of a Pegasus unicorn energy okay. uh, which is really with me and before this call I, I um right I was at Serapis Bay um okay. often, what will, oh, what, often what will happen is I, I, I've read about Serapis Bay and it just goes boom about my, but for me, Serapis Bay, I'm like, I go into ecstasy. Right. I'm like, just saying the word, I'm like, right. but whoever, whatever I've read, I'm like, that's not who's coming through, but I know it's Serapis Bay. Right. And it's it's purity and purifying. And, right. and, and, um, and which is the resonance of the unicorn and, and hot and, and Serapis is coming in because he assists with, you know, bringing in the temple, the temple, the structure to the heart opening. And when we have that um, right. vessel, right. we can then, we can then, you know, we've got something to, to move, to, to fly in a ship, <laughs> for instance, yeah. a worker bar. Yeah. You know, we've got, we've got that, stru that structure to, to be in devotional space, to, to, to transcend on and to move and to, to celebrate and all many things, but we need that vessel that holding like Gaia is and, the yeah. therapist, you know, he uh, he's been coming in, and and then I realise, oh, because I'm getting this call to go to Egypt, which is I'm like I was not expecting, but <laughs> yes, so, yes. The therapist Bay is on that one. Uh, that's coming up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so they, they they all keep they all. So this one here as well, which is a key in the Kundalini awakening. Okay. So, uh, when uh, I had a spontaneous Kundalini awakening. Yes. Um, uh, I had this dream that I had a, a tattoo of a dragon, um, and it was really quite a long dream <laughs> because I was tattooing my back. And I just woke up with this. Wow, I've got a dragon on my back, and this was pounding. Okay. And it, and it pounded for three months, and that's a, like a, a primal intuitive center. I, it's a bit like the head. Yes, the, the alter alter major. That's it. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, Tim Tim Wild talks about this quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. And so that when that clears, then the connection is made with the, the third eye, the crown, and then the pineal. And that's when the, you know, the light ship, the Merkabah is activated. Um, so yes, I've gone all over the place. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. Uh, good for you. I'm thrilled to hear all this. Honestly, it's, it's so exciting.
Yeah, that's hence why I needed to write things down because the way that I my <laughs> I will go like this, sure. and so straining it all, reining it all in, bringing it all in, which is kind right. of why I needed to be with his coaches because they're very kind of like that, um, and in order to kind of get to something that that really is a vessel where I can bring all these yes. things together, it's yeah. been quite a. Uh, it's been it's a, it's been uh, it's 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 a challenge. <laughs> yes, it are. Yes, you, I'm sure they have stories about you at this point. I'm sure you've rocked their world. Bless you. You know. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you have. <laughs> they, they, you never imagined they'd meet someone like you. It's it's probably yeah yeah. <laughs> Bless you, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. yeah. So um, feel yeah. So I'm really excited to be. It's a, it's going to be a small group because I'm. Uh, I I think what I'm going to be doing is there's going to be. Well, I know what I'm for sure that's going to be a Wednesday and a Saturday, and the Saturday is going to be doing the teaching and the and and. And opening up the, you know, the 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 the, the space for that particular session, right? Um, and because uh, there's people in Australia, there's people in America, there's people in Europe, people here. Um, time. So I think what I'm going to do is a session in the morning and a session in the in the evening, right? Um, right. So right. there's so people can be there live. Yeah. Um, so that's I was thinking I was going to have to do that I was thinking no I won't and then it's like yes you will <laughs> um, and and that's but you know I'm I'm that's why it is uh, there's also other things there's also the interstellar sh shamanic wheel medicine wheel that I that I've been working with that's in it as well okay so a lot there is a lot it's very um, I want it to be light um, um, I'm going to put it all on an ebook, so that's another IT thing I need to look at. Okay. But um, it's just there as a, um, a, a not so everybody has to do everything or all of it. I'm just gathering all the parts. So the medicine wheel and how I've been working with it, I've been working with that. It's a good compass, map, key, everything to, yeah. to open up to the guides yeah. and families of light yeah. and yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, brilliant. I mean, I'm so excited to hear more about this and to learn more about it. And if I can be a part of it, I, if I can manage that, I'd be thrilled to be a part of it. It sounds just really incredible. And uh, you're doing amazing work, Zahara. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're, Thank you. You're, you're welcome, truly, from my heart to yours. What uh, what an inspiration you are, woman. You're on fire over there. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the... Um... Thank you. It's it's um, I know, and then I I'm not doing this again. Not this particular <laughs> course. <laughs> okay. It's 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 it will be record the bits that I'm transmitting and chant because there'll be channelings and working with Serapis Bay and probably and other beings of light. But he's really holding, helping to assist to hold this whole space. No. Um, because we're in that time of purification. But uh, then it'll be recorded and so on, and I have it there on my website. But then. It's on to the next, whatever it is, whatever it is. So this is going to be there for yeah. people who might feel they can resonate the recordings of it. Yeah. And then I'm on to the next thing. So I'm not, sure. this is not, I'm not, haven't got any attachment to it. It's, it's a, a tool to, and a vessel. It's going to be very intimate. There's about 13 uh, of us. And that's right. it. Because right. I can then really, we can really, assist one another and hold um, a light ship together and journey together actively as in I'm not going to be the only one going blah 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 I've done okay. this in the past many years ago hmm. and I and I wanted to do this for all for so long yeah. and 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 um, I, this is it's, this is about holding the group together holding the, the light ship together yeah. people voicing and shaping and co-creating journeying actively yeah. actively so speaking seeing sound together right um i've done it in drumming groups where you know um the the, the drumming the sounding halt is you are drummed by the drum the heartbeat sure. you don't lead the drum yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah beautiful so i'm used to holding that space and now i want to be, it's the shining ones i'm like they really gave me i thought oh maybe somebody else would will be doing all that <laughs> I'm like no 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 because um, when I get prods like this I, I listen. Yeah, honey, good. Well, I'm very grateful for one. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's grateful that you're listening to uh, 
the masters who are whispering in your ears and coming through the loo and all sorts of exciting things, you know? Bless you, bless you. It's, it's a privilege. Well, will we leave it there for the moment? So sure, sure. <laughs> that, that feels very, very uh, perfect and complete. Thank you. And I'll put the links there for, for, for all of this. And yeah. Thank you so can, much. You're welcome. Thank if I can help so you in any way, let me know. And maybe we'll, we'll chat again. When, is, when does it start? Um, good point. I think I put down the 9th, which is after the 8th. <laughs> the uh, 9th of November. 9th of um, November. Good. So people yeah, yeah. have a month to get ready for that. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, Brilliant. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was, yeah, it's trying to avoid the, the major gateways because <laughs> it's, <laughs> um, but yes. Um, yes. No, you'll be right after the, uh, the, the, the eclipse. So that'll be a, yeah. a good time. It'll be through the eclipses and uh, people will be ready for what's next. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank, thank you so much. for <laughs> A pleasure, a joy, a delight, a hoot. Uh, thank you thank you we'll, we'll have to do it again yeah well take care and uh, in all that you're doing as well it's thank you honey thank you pleasure wonderful all right, all have, right. A great, have a great evening i'll we'll leave it there and i will send this to you and uh well done yeah thank Bro you you're welcome and you're, you thank all you right. okay peace <laughs>